my mommy told me I eat too many chicken nuggies. I decided to make my own food. And today on the menu is soup. One ingredient. Two. Oh, this is gonna taste good. Three. It's musty. Add some cheese. Ew. I think I just spilled these. Uh -huh. And to top off my DIY creation, since I'm a little fancy, we're gonna add a garnish. A pickle on top keeps the doctor at the dock. As long as we family, I think if you eat this, you might get sick. Ah! Family, today we have the craziest DIY videos ever! Smash like on today's video if you love making stuff at home yourself too! Don't forget this video to 10,000 likes to make sure you don't have to eat this too! First DIY game we got here is the... Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know. Let's keep watching to find out. We got cardboard pieces that make up a rectangle. Now they're drawing something on a paper. What are they drawing, family? Oh, it's the one. The only. Huggy Wuggy. But why does Huggy Wuggy want to be in a cardboard box? Oh. <gasps> No way! It's a Huggy Wuggy pinball machine! And they made it all themselves! And you can too! Except I advise getting a fake Huggy Wuggy. Don't you dare put a real one in there! Unless you want your fingers chopped off. <laughs> Family, comment down below games as the secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comments. Bonus points if you add extra S's at games. Because games are so fun, we don't want to just play one. I want to play like 500. No, 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 actually 501. Come on, next game. Show me what you got. I want to see it with my own eyes. So I can make it with my own hands. Duh. We got cardboard pieces. And he's chopping it with scissors and old man family. You know how I feel about scissors. If we're not using scissor safety, then somebody is going to cry like a baby. Oh, he's putting the pieces together like a puzzle piece. And he's attaching them with toothpicks. Don't poke your eyes out. That's what toothpicks are for. And now he's drawing something. What are they drawing? It kind of looks like a snake. A birthday boy. <gasps> a Bunzo bunny birthday boy. I love Bunzo. He's one of my favorites. We attached Bunzo bunny to the cardboard box we made. Oh, and now we even made Bunzo symbols. Attach the symbols to the box and... <gasps> No flipping chicken nugget! We made a DIY musical Bunzo Bunny! What songs do you think he can play? I hope he can sing happy birthday. Cause my birthday is six months away and he better get practicing. Just saying. Next DIY game family, what do you think it is? This is very important. Okay, Mr. Cardboard Box. Didn't know somebody had such an ego. But whatever. You put glue around the box. Apparently, you put a Mr. Sun Drop on the box, too. Oh, I don't want a spooky sun drop on my box. Is that bubblegum? Or candy? Or a ball pit? We just made the coolest game ever. A ball pit game that you could play in the balls. But then after you're done playing, you get to eat them. Bro, I think that's cooler than magic. So then does that mean that we're magicians? Wow. They just keep getting better and better. Another game. We just learned how to make three of them and now we see another one. Oh, my chicken nugget. I'm excited. We got some cardboard pieces that we cut with scissor safety. Wow, look what they just did. Are those three different teeter-totters? I see those at the park all the time. My mom doesn't let me play on them because she says I'm too dangerous. That story's for another day. All right, Tutor Totter Swing, show me what you got. Got a lot of different numbers and calculations and mathematical stuff that, uh... Yep, just like I thought. Nothing up there to figure those out. Whoa, 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 look, family. He's drawing Among Us characters. Red, yellow, and Scion. Mr. Among Us characters, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, what? And they get to play on the teeter-totters and I don't? Not fair. Referee. Oh, man. 
Okay, what are they doing here? What They come up from the swings and... Wait, why is he hitting them? What's going on here? I don't understand. Oh. This game is just like Wacka Wuggy and Poppy Plates in Chapter 2. Except instead of whacking the different Huggy Wuggies, we get to whack the Among Us characters. But with a stick. Oh, that makes it so much cooler. What in the chicken nugget is all of this cardboard? I guess if you want to make your own games at home, you gotta get yourself a bunch of it. Ask your mommy for one, two, three, five thousand pieces maybe and then you'll be good okay we're layering cardboard pieces we're sticking things inside the holes of the cardboard pieces like a stick and a <gasps> is that a popsicle stick mm, popsicles ah! they're drawing huggy wuggy close your eyes is it gone family ah! ah! nope Still there. Thank you very much for telling me. Okay, we're cutting Huggy Wuggy's head off. And putting it on the cardboard? What the heck is this? With a little orange ball and a... <gasps> Wait a second, that red paddle just launched a little orange ball in the air. <gasps> and then it went through Huggy Wuggy's mouth. Family, we just made a DIY Huggy Wuggy basketball game. So I don't know about you, but I'm I'd be a lot better than that dude playing. Dribble, dribble, swoosh. Dribble, dribble, swoosh. I mean, no, I didn't make my high school basketball team, but I did get to be the water boy. And we all know that's where the real talent is. Them water bottles get heavy. Next game. What do we got here? No, mm, more cardboard. Man, that stuff will not leave us alone. But what are they making with the cardboard? Is that a bottle cap that they're sticking on the cardboard with a toothpick? Wait, there's three more bottle caps. And they even spin around. What is going on here, family? What do you think they're making? Because either they're making something that rolls or a very complicated cover for a Coca-Cola bottle. Hmm. Whoa! He just touched it and it spun away. It's like it has a mind of its own. And now he's drawing some <laughs> old man? Why is he drawing an old man with an M on his forehead? I thought if you wanted to call him a loser, you write an L. No way, family. Wait, that's not some old man. That's Super Mario. And they put him on top of the cardboard machine. Oh, wow. No way. They made a DIY Super Mario Kart. Just like in the games. I think I could race on my PlayStation with that. That car looks better than anything I've ever used. More cardboard. What a surprise. We're using that cardboard to make a teeny tiny box. Nah, those scissors came up really fast. Kind of spooked me. Now it's back again. And now we are drawing something. Is that a ghost? A clown? A really hungry chicken? Oh, it's Bunzo Bunny. Of course. Kind of like a mix of all three of those things. Oh, we got some red paper that he scrunched up into a slinky looking thing. Oh, we actually have three of them. And he just attached them all together. Well, he's putting them in the box. And now putting Bunzo's head on top of the box. And oh! Whoa! Bunzo Bunny's head just popped out of the box like nothing. He made a DIY Jack in the Box. No, not a Jack in the Box. A DIY Bunzo in a Box. I like that one better. Oh, I know who they're drawing their family. They're drawing the Huggy Wuggy. Duh. Who else looks like a kid eating blueberry? Well, that is a Stop my pet animal, Bluey. He's just in a bad mood all the time. We are rolling up some mini pieces of cardboard. And they kind of look like Bunzo Bunny's yellow symbol. And now we're rolling up blue pieces of paper. And now we're attaching all of them together with string. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, family. I think I know what's about to go on here. He attached two sticks together in an X. And now he's attaching all the pieces of string to the X. And Huggy Wuggy's head on top. And then when you put it all together and move it around, what do you get? A Huggy Wuggy puppet that you can move around any way you want. And make Huggy Wuggy, Buggy Wuggy. Because you can finally make him wiggle. And whoever said evil monsters can't dance. Even though I kind of wish I didn't see that. Something about it kind of scares me. <laughs> wow, family, look. We're finally not starting with a 
piece of cardboard. It's cardboard paper. They're different, okay? Okay, we're folding up the piece of red cardboard paper all around and making some type of... Wait, 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 wait. What is that thing called? Like, origami? Uh, origami? 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 Sushi? Oh, man, I'm hungry. I want a spicy tuna roll. Oh, look, we're drawing pictures now. We got one of Bunzo Bunny. One of Mommy Long Legs. PJ Pug Pillar. Stay away, PJ Pug. I know you're half dog and half caterpillar. And no, I will not give you a dog bone in the shape of a butterfly. Geez, some people are just so needy. Wait, we even have more drawings still. Ah, that's a really cute pick of Huggy Wuggy. And now you add them all on that same folded up piece of red cardboard paper. Whoa! And you could flip it all around and change the pictures to the different Poppy Playtime characters! It's just like magic! But to be honest, kind of cooler! Because magic is for witches and fairies! But this kind of magic, we can make ourselves! Oh, I'm so excited to try it! Family, what do you think the next game is gonna be? I see a lot of different cardboard pieces! And we add them all together with a big piece of green cardboard paper and some white lines. Ooh! Wait, that kind of looks like the field outside at my park that I play at. And people usually play sports on that field and, um, what's the game? What's the game? What? Like soccer? Football? I think soccer. But I'm not too sure because they don't usually let me play. Oh, so many different Among Us characters! The whole squad is here! One of every color, just like my bag of Skittles. What the? That's not every color Among Us character! They only have red and yellow! And they have so many of each, too! Don't they even know how to play Among Us? You never have doubles of the same color. <gasps> Unless you put them on the soccer field and have them play soccer in the DIY game that you made yourself. The family, we just made a DIY soccer game. But more importantly, who do you think is going to win the game? Team yellow or team red? Comment down below. Oh. 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 <gasps> no. They scored. Team yellow wins the game. And now, family, you all get to win at home. You get to make all these different games that I just showed you today. Well, smash like on today's video if you want to learn. Because I'm about to show you all of these secrets right now. Come on, baby nuggie. Let's go. Let's go. All right, family. First up, I'm going to show you how to draw every single Adams Family character. And the first one, we're starting with Wednesday. Okay, it looks like they're drawing a girl's head. But family, this picture does not look like Wednesday yet. Are they tricking us? Oh, now the girl has two different braids? Kinda looking like Wednesday. <laughs> wow! And apparently so am I. Okay, okay, okay. Now we are drawing Wednesday's dress. And it's that really spooky looking black dress with all the different polka dots. Ow! Baby Nuggie, did you just smack me? I know. How can I smack you if I don't have any arms? Ow! <laughs> Wow, and now her dress is off too! And so is mine! Ah, it's Wednesday! It's Wednesday! No, 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 baby Nuggie, I'm not Wednesday! Just dress it up as her! It's me, Alexia! Oh, it's just Alexia? Well, in that case, that's even scarier! Ah! Ow! Baby Nuggie, that's not very nice. Not that spooky! Oh, did I say spooky? I meant stinky! Oh! Okay, family, next up, we're drawing Thing from Wednesday! What the chicken nugget is that? <laughs> Baby Nuggie, I told you it's Thing! Maybe you and Thing can be friends. Now we're drawing all the different cuts and scrapes on the hand. And ta-da! It's done! <laughs> oh, man, who do we think we're drawing next? Do you think it's Wednesday's mom? Do you think it's Wednesday's daddy? Or maybe it's her silly brother. <laughs> oh, wait a second, family. That's not a boy. That's a girl. And I think I know who it is. It's Enid. Yeah, baby nuggie. Thumbs up. Oh, look, family. Enid is wearing her school uniform with her pretty pink top underneath. But wait a second. Enid doesn't have hair like Wednesday. Her hair is more like this. Wow! And 
and ta-da! Here we have the final product! Family, comment down below, doll! That's the secret word of today's video. And me and Baby Nuggy will heart your comment! And family, have you ever wanted to learn how to draw Wednesday Adams, Bobby? Because next up, we're drawing Mardicia! Oh, look at her! She has super long black hair, a really pretty long dress, and a super powerful stance that says, I will eat you. Or cast a magic spell on you if you're not very nice. Be careful. Wow, look at all the pictures we have so far. I feel like we still have two more pictures that will teach you how to draw. And this next one is the spookiest one yet. Oh, man, look at his eyeballs. Look at his face. Oh, man, that dude's got a lot of wrinkles. <laughs> Maybe he just put noodles on his forehead. Wow, family, it's the spooky monster. And I think he's getting ready to eat you. Or hopefully not you, and hopefully he's just gonna eat Baby Nuggy. Don't worry, Baby Nuggy, I'll save you. Uh, maybe. And who's the next person we're about to learn how to draw? Oh, that looks like Wednesday's brother. What's his name again? Oh, yeah. Pugsley. Hey, bro, how you doing? Uh, uh, why are you holding an axe? Uh-oh. Which one of these drawings are your favorite family? Are you gonna draw these at home? Or maybe instead you'll want to learn how to make your very own Wednesday doll. Because I'm about to show you how to do that with only a Barbie. Okay, here we have a Barbie with really pretty hair. And oh no, we're dyeing her hair black. Ugh. Was that turquoise toothpaste? Because it changed the color of her hair. Bye bye, pretty blue eyes. Hello, pale ghost skin. Oh, man, we are redrawing Wednesday's eyebrows a very dark black color. We're drawing on black eyeliner and keeping spooky black and red lips. And ta-da! We made our very own DIY Wednesday doll. And it took about five seconds. Uh, maybe I should put this away. All right, family, I just showed you how to make your very own Wednesday doll out of a Barbie. But now, if you want to learn how to make a giant DIY Wednesday doll, I'm about to teach you that too. Okay, this is a giant, very creepy ah, doll. Why is it so big and why is it so spooky looking? That thing's crazier than Wednesday. But family, if you want to learn how to turn this doll into Wednesday, listen very closely. Okay, first we gotta say bye-bye, creepy doll dress. And hello, really big feet? Next thing we gotta do is change this doll's hair because we all know that Wednesday has very dark black hair and this doll's hair is blonde. Oh, they just took off Wednesday's head. And now we're taking off her brain? Oh no, family, I know I wanted to make a Wednesday doll, but I didn't know we would have to perform surgery. I am not a doctor. Okay, apparently Wednesday's eyeballs are gone now too. And now we gotta do surgery on her face. Okay, Wednesday's eyes are dark brown, so that's what we gotta draw on this paper. But eyeballs aren't flat like paper. They gotta be round and bubbly. Kinda like two hard boiled eggs. Glue the pupils onto the eggshells, and I'll pop those in the back of the head. And now the face is starting to look like our favorite evil TV show character. Ah, I don't like it. Ooh, but I do like her new eyelashes. Those are pretty. <laughs> oh, family. Apparently, Wednesday is getting pretty old because it looks like she's losing her hair. Her hands are also looking kind of icky and gross. A little bit dirty. So let's cover up that dirt with some black nail polish. And y'all already know the next step. We gotta put on the Wednesday dress. Pop on her head with the black wig. Then braid her hair. And boom! We made the world's biggest Wednesday doll ever! And she's coming to life! Run, family, run! Family, the next kind of art we're about to see is my favorite ever! Because this next art that I'm about to show you is one that you can eat! Because we're about to learn how to make Wednesday Adams into a cookie! Okay, here is what we want to make. Wednesday! And here is the giant gingerbread cookie that we're gonna make her on! Oh, but that's not all, family. We also need a bunch of different tools and stuff to put on top of the cookie, like decorations. Okay, here we have our giant gingerbread cookie and all of our yummy candy to go on top. 
Okay, first things first, we gotta make Wednesday shoes. And we're gonna do that by filling in the bottom of the feet with black icing. Now we get to open the really fun box of candies. And aren't those bats? Oh, we're gonna put those on her shoes. So instead of just regular black shoes, we're making these shoes studded. Wait, what are we doing next? She just grabbed a bunch of icing and is now molding it together? What kind of shapes is she gonna make with that? Oh, family, we're using the white icing to make Wednesday's dress. But wait a second, why is her dress white? Oh, I get it. We just put the white dress on as a base. And now we're adding even more black icing to cover all of her dress. But we're not done with the dress yet because we still gotta add all the different white polka dots or, or white skull bones or flowers. Or I don't know what those are, but they kind of remind me of mini marshmallows. Oh, I think we're adding little tiny ghosts to be the polka dots. And they look so good. Now we gotta add some more icing to act as the skin. Some black polka dot icing to act as her black fingernails. And now the most important part of our cookie art. We are about to draw Wednesday's face and put on her hair. Looks like we're making the eyeballs first. Now the eyelashes. Eyebrows, too. And even her red, juicy lips. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I know I said juicy, but dang, cookie maker. Those lips look so wet, I think Wednesday might have fallen in a puddle. <gasps> Next up, we get to braid her hair. Whoa. And add on her bangs, but I <laughs> Wednesday looks like an old lady. Her hair is white. But that's not something the magical icing can't fix. Because now all we gotta do is squeeze that bottle, squeeze! And now we dyed her hair! Add a little couple freckles and a little finishing touches and family! I think our cookie is done! Whoa! This is the coolest Wednesday cookie art I've ever seen! Would you eat this? Don't forget, you can make this at home yourself! All right, next up, family, we're gonna learn how to make all of the different sounds from Wednesday. Just like the fire part in the show. Did you hear that? That was so crazy! Okay, okay, now we're gonna learn how to make a typewriter noise! Through the paper off the table. Now we're gonna learn how to make sounds of thing walking. Ah, that was so creepy. Thing and Gomez romantic moment. <gasps> Spiders? Oh no no no! I don't want to hear this one. and that means I do not want to know what they sound like either. Thank you, Mr. Sound Man, for showing me. Now I will have nightmares for the rest of my life. Oh, wait, is this a Wednesday dance? Oh man, it's Wednesday and Poppy Playtime and Rainbow Friends? They're dancing! Like Doggy said, na 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 da 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 da. <laughs> Coolest dance ever. Go Nuggy, go Nuggy, go Nuggy. Hey. Next up, we have Lego characters glowing up into Wednesday. Okay, this might just look like a regular schmegular Lego piece right now, family, but oh, just you wait, because she is about to glow up into a specific Wednesday character, and you have to guess who. Oh, wait a second. Oh, phew, I thought they were about to take off her head. Oh, look, they just put on blonde hair. Does that mean she's glowing up into Enid? Because Enid from Wednesday has blonde hair, too. Oh. 
Oh, okay. They just changed her hair again. Now it's orange. But who from Wednesday has orange hair? Oh, they're changing it back to blonde now. Oh, and she's having a really pretty colorful pink top. Oh, family, I really think she's going up into Enid. <gasps> But wait a second, we're not done yet. We still have more characters glowing up. We have somebody with black shoes and a black polka dot dress. And some dark eyes and dark makeup with red lips. Oh, family, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, no, she has black braided hair. This Lego figure is glowing up into Wednesday. Wednesday and her roommate Enid. Oh, man, this is so cool. They're even making Wednesday's typewriter that she uses in her room. <laughs> and even her black cello. I'll, I'll leave the music for Wednesday. Wow! All right, family, and if you like making mini characters just like we did with the Lego ones, I'm about to show you the cutest art of all of today's video. We are making the Bittiest, tiniest little peanut size Adam's family characters ever. Okay, who are we making here? They are long. They are scrawny. They are very, very skinny. <gasps> I think this looks like Wednesday, but I'm not sure. <gasps> it is Wednesday. She's the size of my pinky finger. Maybe even smaller. But we're not done yet because there's more of the family that we're about to make. Okay, this mini figure is even tiny and even skinnier than the first one. <gasps> Whoa, and she's also a bunch taller. <gasps> oh man, it's Morticia, Wednesday's mommy. She's looking good. But we are still going family because can you guess who this next character is? They are a lot bigger and wider than the other two characters. And this one seems to be a boy. Do you know what boy characters there are in Wednesday? He's wearing some kind of suit, some kind of tie. It's Gomez, Wednesday's daddy. Wait a second. But we already made Wednesday. We made Wednesday's mom, and now we made Wednesday's dad. Who the chicken nugget could this character be? <gasps> Oh, no way. That's Wednesday's brother, Pugsley. <laughs> Look how tiny he is compared to his daddy. Practically looks like a baby. Baby Nugget? Oh, Baby Nugget, don't worry. You're cuter. And now I don't really know what we're making here. Uh, some kind of box. Some kind of cage? Oh, maybe the Adams family has a pet bird and they're making a bird cage. Yeah, 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 that must be it. Oh, I can't wait to see their new pet bird inside of their newly made bird cage. Oh, there's the cage, there's the cage. They're about to use it. That. Oh! <laughs> Wednesday put her brother in jail. And now he can't get out. And what is this? The last thing we're making in today's video. <gasps> it's a castle. It's a plane. It's a Wednesday family house. Oh, man, family. I think it's haunted. The Adams family can live in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, family. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, family, what kind of Poppy Playtime art are we going to see today? I'm so excited. Okay, so it looks like we're cutting a lot of things, gluing some things together. Wait, what? That just looks like a regular schminkular box. The same kind of box I store my candy wrappers in. You never know just when you might need them. And family, don't forget that whatever we see in today's video, you can try and make at home. Because box making skills is very important. I think. Family, comment down below DIY as a secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comment. Bonus points if you add extra Y, 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 for DIY. Yeah. Oh, what are those shiny circle things? He's taping them to some popsicle sticks. Oh, man, I love popsicles. But not when they melt all over me and get all sticky. Oh, it's mini player. And another mini player and another mini player and another mini player. Why is there so many of them? They put all of the mini players on top of the green box. Oh, my chicken nugget. We just made a DIY Poppy Playtime foosball table. Who is going to win this sports match? Player or, um, uh, player? That's a hard decision. Wow, goal! And the winner is player. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Hm, lol. <laughs> Check 
my phone. There's nothing on my phone. Whoa! Games! Actually, a free mobile game called Dragon City! Available on all devices. You can collect thousands of dragons with different elements and build your own dragon empire? You will need to collect food, gold, and gems so you can grow and tailor your city to reach new levels! Buy family in order to grow your flying empire. You will need to breed two different dragons and get new dragon eggs, hatch them, and feed them to evolve. Then you even got to train your dragons, take some new attacks, and take them to battle in order to make them more powerful. <laughs> Take part in PvP fights in the combat and arena fights. Where you can challenge your friends and other dragon masters. Become a member of one of the alliances, interact with other dragon masters, and join exclusive events where you can unlock chests and awesome rewards. Join the battle pass in the weekly mini games every week where you can claim daily prizes and dragons. You can even find dragons of your favorite YouTubers like Dar Man and Unspeakable. And maybe even me. Download the game by clicking the link in the description below or scan the QR code to get a free special gift of 50,000 food, 30,000 gold, and even the Flame Knight Dragon. Thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring this portion of today's video, and family, I will see you in the game. What are we looking at right now? And why are we in a super dark room? Oh, oh, well, those look like colorful rainbow walls with big dark holes in them. Uh, why are they adding tubes to the holes? And why is there really a is something bad gonna happen? Family, I thought this was supposed to be a DIY art video. But the only thing that I'm doing myself is making me scared. Oh, I can't look. Ooh! What is all of this sand? We got a sand castle and a sand pyramid and another sand castle and... <gasps> what the chicken nuggets? Why are they squishing down all of the sand castles? That was my favorite part. Oh, but it does look pretty satisfying squishing all of it. What do y'all think, family? Would you do that to the sand too? But I am still confused on what this is. Oh, it's a little cute figurine. Wait, <laughs> is that Barney? Because that looks like a purple dinosaur. Wait, there's another one. And that one's orange. And another one that's green and red too? Wait a second, there's even player. Oh! <gasps> No! This ain't no regular sandcastle! We just made a DIY Wacka Wuggy game! And the best part is that all of the different Wacka Wuggies are made out of Play-Doh. But this time, if we whack them, hopefully they'll get smushed like a pancake. Wow, what beautiful art! It's a d bl blank paper with nothing on it and uh i guess that's not art oh they're actually drawing something on the sheet don't worry family don't worry and it looks like um a flower but i never usually see flowers on paper i always just see flowers outside so who's lying to me here wait a second that looks like daisy the flower from poppy playtime you know the one we briefly saw in chapter two oh that one looks so Cute. What the? Whoa! It's a cute flower and then a weird flower and then cute flower. Weird flower, cute. Weird, cute. Ah. I can't decide. All I know is that apparently Daisy has all kinds of different personalities. She's happy, then she's sad, then she's angry, then she's cool, and then she's here, and then she's there, and then she's... Her emotions be going more up and down than a roller coaster. Even the ones that do loop de loops. Kind of cool, cool. But I like the DIY art. I could totally make that one by myself at home. And you could too. Oh, we're face painting on a hand, actually. Not a face. And actually, I don't think that's paint either. I think he's drawing on his hand with some markers. Oh, man, if I ever did that, my mommy would be so mad. She says, Alexia, do not draw on yourself with markers. Alexia, do not draw on daddy's new car with some big black sharpies that will most definitely never come off. But that is like, Mom, why you gotta ruin the fun, you know? I'm practicing my art. Skills. But the real question here is, what is he drawing on his hand? His hand just looks like he did a high five with the strawberry. That is smushed. 
Okay, now we're moving on to drawing a circle. And what are we drawing inside of this circle? But whatever it is, I know that you can draw the same thing at home, family. Because remember, all of this art is DIY. Which means drink in your nuggie. Or... What? It means do it yourself. <laughs> but wait a second, family. Look what he's drawing. We are drawing a crazy robot hand. And I don't think that's any regular robot hand. I think that's the prototype. Coming soon to a Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 near you. Ah, look what happened. We mixed the smushed strawberry with the prototype hand. And put that on top of the real dude's hand. And now the prototype made a hole in his is sticking out so much like a poor thumb. Except I think that dude's thumb is the least of his worries. <laughs> After this, I think he's gonna have to chop off his whole hand. Oof. Okay, we got a paper. And I think we cut a hole in it. Ah, there's some scissors. You better be safe with those scissors. Because y'all know if you're not being safe with scissors, then you're about to get screamed out by Alexia. Okay, he's drawing something inside of the hole he made with his scissors. But I can't exactly tell what that is. And now he's drawing something beside that? Kind of looks like two people. But again, I don't know who they are. Family, do you know who they're drawing right now? Comment down below if you do. Because I am confuzzled. Oh my gosh, they drew hearts around them. And it kind of looks like that person's mooching the other one. Wait a second, do y'all think they're in love? Oh, so cute. Hey, now there's even a third person over on the other side. But I don't know him either. There is too many strangers in this picture and I'm starting to get uncomfortable. Okay, well, now they're coloring them in. So maybe we'll figure it out with the colors. Okay, one is pink and one is yellow and one is blue. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I think that person is Kissy Missy. I think that person is Player. I think that person... Wuggy's getting jealous. Huggy Wuggy was hiding behind a secret curtain. But then when the curtain opened up, he saw the truth. We made a DIY Kissy Missy love potion. Because now Kissy Missy's in love with player. And Huggy Wuggy got kicked to the curb. Sorry, Huggy Wuggy. What can I say? Kissy Missy's in the players, not in huggers. But who's going to tell her that player doesn't want to play back? Because he looks grossed out. Oh, <laughs> Okay, we are chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping again. What the? Oh, and now we cut all these little squares. And is it just me or do those look like frosted mini wheats? Um, I love those. So now we're gluing the mini wheats on top of the other cardboard. But why are there little holes inside of every mini wheat? I am confused. Okay, we put some longer cardboard in between each piece of mini wheat. Oh, and now we just stuck a whole stick through all of them. Kind of like a chicken skewer you put on the barbecue. You. Oh, man, all I could think about is food. Okay, more cardboard. Aw, and we're drawing on them. I know which Poppy Playtime characters those all are. Do you? Okay, we got Huggy, Daisy, and Mommy. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no. Daisy, Bobby, and Huggy. Wait, that's not it either. Okay, Mommy, Huggy, and Daisy. What? That's Bobby, and that's Huggy, and that's Daisy? I mean, all right, family, if you say so. I'll believe you this time. We are gluing Mommy long legs on top of the cardboard. And now Huggy, and now Daisy. Well, I have no idea what this DIY art's gonna be, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know what happened to all of our mini wheat pieces, but I think they're gone. Wait, we're still drawing other things too? Player whacking Huggy? <laughs> That looks so funny. Oh my gosh, family. Look at this. Mommy, Huggy, and Daisy keep bobbing their heads up and down. And then we just keep trying smacking them. We just made a DIY Waka Wuggy game. Bet you didn't see that one in chapter two. Well, uh, maybe you did with real Waka Wuggies. But in the game, they could actually eat you. At least in this one, they are stuck in their box. And y'all better stay there.
Holy jeez, that is a lot of different lines and paper and stuff. Is it just me or do all those lines on the people are kind of remind you of an apple pie? Wait, but that's not an apple pie. It looks like they're drawing something underneath there. And I don't think they're drawing just anything. I think they're drawing a human. Wait a second, even more than just a human? It's a yellow human. And y'all know what that means, family. It's player from Bobby Playtime. I think he's behind a fence or something. Move the arrow up and... <gasps> Whoa! What just happened to Blair? Where did he go? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, family. I think we just made a DIY player over. Because, yeah, after we pulled up that arrow, buddy went bye-bye. Okay, family, looks like we're just drawing something here. Maybe somebody's head. Maybe Huggies or Bunzos. Oh, look at those lips. And those long eyelashes. This must be mommy long legs. What other cute girls do we got in Poppy Playtime? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that, Kissy Missy. I must have forgot. Okay, so we're drawing mommy long legs on the paper and... Oh. Whoa! The paper just folded up and got two times as long. And now we also have a second Mommy Long Legs head. Okay, we have one Mommy Long Leg head there and one Mommy Long Leg head there. And one of them looks super happy and the other one looks uh, not so happy. Actually, the opposite of happy. It looks uh, pretty mad. Okay, we're gonna color it in because maybe the coloring will make it less spooky. Aw, Mommy Long Legs. Like that, you're so cute with the green eyes and oh! <gasps> That lets you see inside of Mommy Long Legs' head. That is one place in the world that I never wanted to go. But apparently, y'all wanted to visit their family. So have fun on vacation. Oh, more drawings. I love drawing. Wait, but that drawing looks a little sad. I think that's player on a table. And he's frowning. He's either frowning or that's an upside down happy face. But I think it's actually him. I'm frowning. Player buddy, why are you so sad? What happened to you? Did Huggy Wuggy forget to give you a hug again? Because I told Kissy Missy to remind him. But she never <gasps> listens to me either. Wow, look at them coloring in the picture. Not only does Player look sad, he also looks stained in tomato sauce. Uh, I don't know if I like the look of this picture anymore. It went from sad to scary real quick. Wait. Who's that in the corner? Why do they look angry? Okay, actually, the corner's all dark, so I don't think anyone's there. But why are we moving this arrow? Oh! It's Evil Daisy! And I think she's about to eat Player! Daisy, what the heck, girl? Why are you eating Player? Aren't you supposed to be a vegetarian? Seriously, girl, you're literally made out of plants. Not cool. Cut them cardboard pieces! Glue them cardboard pieces! Place those cardboard pieces. <laughs> Wait, why'd they stick two pencils in between the cardboard? Pencils are for drawing. Not for poking holes in people. Okay, we're wrapping some paper around the pencils. Oh, and now what are we drawing here? Project Huggy? What does that mean? Is that a secret Huggy Wuggy project that we don't know about? Cause look, now they're drawing both Mommy Long Legs and Huggy Wuggy. And they're right beside each other. Wait, but their face doesn't look too happy. And their arms are all tied up together. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, wait, they're still drawing something else on the other side. Oh, they're drawing Huggy, obviously. Look at their head. Or, or wait, actually, I think they might be drawing Mommy Long Legs because look at their body. Now we're putting the weird pictures inside of the Project Huggy box. And let's twist these pencils and see what happens. Oh, 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 look, family! Mommy Long Legs and Huggy Wuggy just got squished. The secret Project Huggy machine broke them. We made a DIY Mommy Long Legs and Huggy Wuggy oofing machine. Mommy Long Legs and Huggy Wuggy just got smushed together. And now they transformed into the same person. Oh, no. 
I wish I never saw that. Can't wait to see that toy in chapter three. Maybe. We have a paper drawing of orange and blue and... Da -da 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 -da. Wow! We just transformed blue paper version into a DIY plush toy! <laughs> and I think Orange is scared. Orange is like, what the chicken nugget? This family really is magic! And we say, yes, we are! Mwah. Wow! Hey, Blue even makes squeaky noises! He's a squeaky toy. Oh, look, family! Orange made his way back! Hey, Orange, what's up? Wait, what's that? You want to be made into a toy, too? I mean, okay, all you had to do was ask. Wow! We just magically transformed Orange into origami! <laughs> His mouth can even open and shut, too. Well, careful you don't get your fingies too close to that mouth, family. Orange might try and chop your fingies off. Because, yep, yep, that's what happened to me. Oh, hey, paper version of green. What's up, dude? Whoa, whoa. Oops, I just used my magic powers. And look at him! <laughs> green looks so silly. He's chomping around and dancing around. He's actually kind of dancing better than me. Mm, I'm jealous. But he looks so fun to play with. Okay, Green, you're getting a little too close to us here. To stay back. Oh, phew. That tongue was looking extra slobbery. Aw, a little cute version of purple. That's like the tiniest piece of paper I've ever seen. And also the creepiest eyes I've ever seen. Those things look like they're staring deep into my soul. But don't worry, family. All they're gonna see is a chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, magic power used again. And what do we have now? <gasps> Whoa. We made a DIY giant purple box! And there's even a crank on the side to move their hands! Oh man, this one is the coolest one yet! And I think purple thinks so too! Because it looks like she's having a dance party! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, what are we making now? Is it another rainbow friend? Okay, we have a paper and it looks like we cut it all up. And now we're folding it into the shape of a house? Well, family, that is the easiest house I've ever bought. And it was also free, too. <laughs> now we are gluing the house paper onto a black sheet and... <gasps> Whoa! Did you see them just fold open the sheet? When they folded it open, the white paper came out like a pretty flower. And now we're drawing something on that same paper. Do you think we're drawing some more flowers? Uh, I don't know if what he's drawing looks like flowers, though. I don't think flowers usually have feet. And I don't think flowers usually have weird-looking eyes, either. Wait a second, family. This looks like somebody I really recognize. I think we're drawing blue from Rainbow Friends! What the? What just happened? Everything was all good when the paper was shut. But then as soon as they opened it, boom! Blue came jumping out. Family, I don't know about you, but he spooked me. I need another ice cream. Or my chicken nugget plush to hold. To make our next toy, we have a blue balloon and a cut open soda bottle. What are they putting inside of it? Is that powdered ice cream? Or that white powdery stuff that they put on top of cakes? Or icing? Well, whatever it is, family, they are putting that inside of the blue balloon. And maybe since the balloon is blue, maybe we're making blue from Rainbow Friends. Oh, family, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, they are drawing some polka dots on there. And X marks the spot. Family, that looks like a button. But they just drew a mouth and a crown. Oh, this is definitely blue. Whoa. Hey, look what he's doing with it. He made a blue squishy toy. Oh, that looks so fun to squish. I wish I could make one myself. Wait a second. Family, we can make these by ourselves. That's why they're called DIY. Ooh, we are drawing some other things. I recognize that polka dot and that X. I think he's drawing Blue's head. Or maybe a monster's head. That mouth looks really creepy. And now we're drawing somebody else? Ooh, whoever this person is, they have a really long tongue. I don't like it. And he looks really tall and lanky, just like green. Wait, that was green. And now we also have Blue, the red scientist, pink from chapter two, and yellow from chapter two. Well, all 
All these drawings look really cool. Ooh, now we just cut them with some scissors. What do you think he's gonna do with them? Cut them on parchment paper. What the chicken nuggets? Family, the only time I've ever used parchment paper was to put some chicken nuggies on and then bake them in the oven. <gasps> But look, he's not using the parchment paper to cook these rainbow friends. He's using them because he made his own DIY rainbow friend stickers. And you can put them all over your stuff for school. You can put them on your notepad. You can put them on your sippy cup. You can put them on your jar. Wow, if I do that, I'll be the most stylish person at school. Right now, the only thing I am is the stinkiest person at school. Oh, what are we making now with this big piece of cardboard? Wow, we're putting a bunch of glue all over it with a glue stick. Family, I have a couple glue sticks at my house. That means I can make this too. And we're putting a piece of paper over top of the glue. <laughs> Family, that roll looked like the same kind of roll that are in my toilet paper. Yeah, see right there. And we use that to trace around a circle and then cut it out. And why does that circle have a yellow crown on it and a blue body oh family i think we're making blue and now we're adding the toilet paper roll on the other side of his head and stuffing it with a balloon family i love balloons but i, I don't know about in somebody's head ah now we're drawing blue's face on there he looks so cute oh how is his head magically getting bigger and bigger and then it gets smaller and smaller. What is going on here, family? I am confused. Oh, wait a second. Look at the guy's hands. I think he's squishing the toilet paper tube. And when he does, that makes the balloon go bigger. And then when he lets go from squishing it, the balloon gets smaller. Wow, just like magic. That's so cool. Just make sure when you use the toilet paper roll, you're not still, you know, going potty. <laughs> Why does that doll have green hair? And why did her head come off? Uh, okay, I guess we're giving her bigger eyes. Holy chicken nugget, those are big. They're almost the size of two chicken nuggets. But I don't think you'd be able to see out of those. Unless you bite two holes in the middle and see through the holes. Chicken nugget magic goggles. I think so. Pop on the eyelashes and paint those lips. Ooh, he even has some spicy looking freckles. But what are we gonna do about the hair? Ooh, no way. We have the fluffiest red pigtails now. And I think I know who we're making. If you know who we're making, family, comment down below. Oh, we have a gift. Brand new clothes. Yes, please. One, two, three, four. And now we have a pretty dress. Look at all those ruffles. <gasps> wow! We just made a DIY Poppy Playtime doll! But wait a second, family! Poppy is getting a phone call! Who could it be? But no time for phone calls, family, because we're about to make a new doll! Oh! I think we just took out the face and gave it devil horns! What? But they're blue. I thought bad guys are supposed to be red. Cover it in blue fluffy fur! Huggy Wuggy toy doll. Pop his foot in the oven and the, uh, wait a sec. That doesn't sound right. Oh, but apparently it's done. And now it goes on Huggy Wuggy's foot. Ta-da! Huggy Wuggy looking fabulous. But somebody's arriving at Poppy's door. <gasps> and it's Huggy Wuggy. Toy doll Poppy and toy doll Huggy are hanging out. <gasps> and I think Poppy has an idea on what they should do. Or should I say who? You should love because family i think we're making another poppy playtime doll can you guess who this one is we got a giant bendy string whoa and bend it into a shape of a body put a bunch of pink fur over it hop on the head eyes and lips family who do you think this looks like i know you know who it is this is a diy kissy missy and she even has pigtails just like me. So I think hers are nicer. And I think Huggy Wuggy agrees. Because I think he likes her. Oh, now they're hanging out at the park. 
How romantic. Ah! No! Oh! What? No! Did Huggy Wuggy just ask Kissy Missy to marry him? And I think she said yes! Ah! They're getting married now! No way! I didn't even know toy dolls could do that! First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes up in a baby carriage! Family, we are making a new Poppy Playtime doll! Do you know who it is? It is super tiny like a baby peanut. It's also yellow in color. Add some stuffing in there and some feet and hands. Stick a face on their head and put on a bow. And what present do we find? Wow! We got a baby long legs toy doll for Christmas! And Santa Claus gave it to us for free. I love saving money. Because it means I have more money to spend on kids! Or chocolate. Or cookies! Sometimes my mom says I eat too many cookies. And if I don't stop, then I'll turn it into one. Ah! And speaking of Christmas, family, it's winter time! And it looks like we're making a snowman! <laughs> or wait a second. Those balls don't look like a snowman. They kind of look like a mommy long legs. What? Ooh. And her legs just popped on like a balloon would pop at a birthday party. But what is that giant bendy tube? <gasps> Whoa! We're using it as Mommy Long Legs giant stretchy arms. That looks crazy. And also kind of satisfying to bend back and forth. Mommy Long Legs, you better be putting those strong arms to good use. The only reason that you should be stronger is if that means you can hold more ice cream cones at once. If not, then it's just a waste of strength. I'm just saying. But wait a second, family. What are those pink and blue fluffy balls? And that really strong wire that you have to cut with scissors? No. You know how I feel about scissors, family. If you don't cut the right way, then you're gonna have to pay. Because you might accidentally chop your nose off. Uh-oh. How are you supposed to smell chicken nuggets after that? Little hint for you. You can't. So be safe. One ball on there. Twisty bendy straw on there. Ooh, and the bendy straws are going into the fluffy balls. What the chicken nugget is this, family? I have no idea what doll we're making. <gasps> oh, but they have really pretty green eyes. And really stringy noodle looking like hair. Ah, what the? We made a PJ long leg. It's cursed. Oh, ice cream! And PJ Pugpillar? And PJ Long Legs, too! I, I think PJ Pugpillar likes PJ Long Legs. What the chicken nugget? PJ, why are you offering PJ Long Legs a bone? She don't want that. You should know she only eats itty bitty bugs on her spider web. Duh. <laughs> now PJ is offering PJ Long Legs a lobster. Do spiders eat seafood like that? I guess so. Because Mommy Long Legs licks that plate clean. Whoa, family, I think it's time to make a new Poppy Playtime toy doll. Whoa, look at that square. It looks exactly like the floor in Playtime Co. But what is that string they're wrapping around that stick? Okay, we cut a hole in a box and... <gasps> Whoa, put the Playtime Co. logo on it. Add some weird looking alien thing with a fluffy white ball. Oh, and a red pillow. That looks super comfortable. Kind of looks like a toy I'd use for my cat. If I had a cat, because you know that I don't really like those things. They scare me. <gasps> Look, family. It's Cat Bee. Half cat, half bumblebee. And she looks super duper tired. Oh, I think my idea. Open up the secret mystery box. And ta-da! We made a super awesome cat toy for Cat B. I think she loves it. Wait. <laughs> Actually, family, maybe not. Because instead of playing with her super duper expensive new cat toy, Cat B prefers to sleep in that cardboard box instead. Girl, what do we take all that time to make that for you for? I have a bajillion Amazon Prime boxes in my garage. And now you tell me you prefer that? Bro, another reason why I have beef with cats. Oh, look, family! It's a Huggy Wuggy in the wild! This is the same Huggy Wuggy that we made as a toy! And I think he's trying to take pictures. <gasps> but look! He found a friend! 
wind. And it's a pet squirrel with an acorn for him. Oh, Huggy Wuggy's hungry. He's gonna eat it. And, uh, uh oh. Uh, I think the acorn was too hard. And it mangled all of Huggy Wuggy's teeth. They look more mixed up than an unfinished puzzle. But don't worry, Huggy Wuggy. Mommy Long Legs is gonna fix you. She is gonna make you some braces. <laughs> And you'll look just as new in a couple of months or a couple of years after the braces finally work. But don't worry, family, if that Huggy Wuggy's broken, we could just make a new one. Uh, but I think this one's actually green and not blue. So what does that mean? Huggy Wuggy, dude, where is your face? Oh, a little bit of magic and makeup. And there you go. Wait a second, but what, what are those weird stringy pokey? Scary looking things. What are those supposed to be? Ah! And why did they attach them onto Huggy Wuggy? We accidentally created a green prototype Huggy Wuggy. And now there's no going back. Oh man, you're welcome, Chapter 3. Oh, phew. Thank Chicken Nugget family. We have a choo choo train that we can get away with. But before we use it to escape from evil Huggy Wuggy, we gotta give it a makeover. Paint it on top. Put on the wheels and different buttons. And weird looking alien eyeballs. Whoa, look at this new Poppy Playtime train. It's just like the one in the game. Oh, but look at that. It's a fluffy yellow ball with a cute face on it. Wait a second, it kind of looks like Cat Bee. <gasps> what? That Cat Bee hat was a pinata. And it was filled with candy. And we also get to eat it. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. And speaking of candy family, can you guess the next Poppy Playtime toy we're gonna make? Rhymes with candy and rhymes with cat. It's... Oh, wait, actually, it... it it is Candy Cat! But we're not just making any regular Candy Cat. Oh, no, no, no. We're making a Candy Cat slide! And the part you slide down is Candy Cat's long tongue. Ah! Spicy. And Huggy Wuggy brought some friends. And I think they're ready to play. Are they gonna go down the Candy Cat slide? They are! And they're having so much fun! But hopefully going down the candy cat slide does not mean that candy cat is eating you. You know, because you're going through her mouth and stuff. I mean, it sounds kind of weird, but I don't want to think about that right now. We're having too much fun. Speaking of fun, family, water balloons! Oh, man, it's like we're having a real party. Oh, wait a second! Why did they put holes in that balloon? That means they broke it. Woo! Slime. Or jello? Whoa! They made a squishy balloon that comes out the sides. <gasps> and it looks just like PJ Pugapillar! I don't know what the point of this is, but it still looks really cool! I just want to squish it. Hopefully that doesn't give PJ a headache, though. Ow. Just kidding, it's only me. Oh, my head and my neck hurts now, family. I shouldn't have done that. But wait, what are we making now? <gasps> Oh, sprinkles! But wait, what just came out of those sprinkles? It's like a yellow tube looking thing with ears. Ow, my neck. Oh, I can't even talk about whatever this is because my neck hurts so much. Oh, Bunzo Bunny! Ow, oh. Wait, wait. I, I don't think that's any regular Bunzo Bunny. I think that's a Bunzo Bunny neck rest. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. We just made it as a toy doll. Wow, we are so epic. I want to call my mom and tell her. Ooh. Speaking of phones, family, look at that iPhone case. It was clear before and now we painted it different colors. All of the Poppy Playtime colors. Whoa, whoa, and now we're putting Play-Doh on it or clay? What the chicken nugget is that? Ooh, it's a PJ Pugapillar head. That's a phone case. We made a DIY PJ Pugapillar Poppy Playtime phone case. And it's the only one in the whole world that exists. Cause we made it ourselves. So unique. All right, family, our first DIY paper toys is the Garden of Ban Ban. What's happening? Who is this? Oh, it's Jumbo Josh. And he has his own glove to bundle. 
Whoa, Dumbo Dodge. Didn't know your arm twisted like that. Really, this paper toy is so cool because you could make it yourself at home. Oh, but if you have any band bands at home, I would probably hide them. Because I think Jumbo Josh has a target. And with that big hand, he ain't gonna miss. Hey, family, we're not only making the Garden of Band Band toys today. We are also making Skippity Toilet toys. And then at the very end of today's video, we have a crazy secret box with even more secret toys. Oh, look at this. A DIY pinball machine. Family, this is so fun. Band Band's Kindergarten. Family, if you have a mini pinball machine laying around at home, all you gotta do is open it up and remove the picture from the back, put in your own Garden of Band Band picture that you do yourself, put it back together, and then boom! You got your own Nap Nap, Damnalina, and Lookies version of Pinball. Just make sure the ball doesn't land on an evil spider monster, because then he'll get stuck in his web. Hey, Ban Ban! Hey, Banbalina! Hey, evil Ban Ban! Hey, evil Banbalina! Please, the evil Garden of Band Band monsters are laughing at us. That's not very nice. But you know what is nice? This DIY Garden of Band Band paper cup game. All you have to do to make this game at home is draw a picture of whatever Garden of Band Band monster you want. It could be Band 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 Belina, or even your evil Mama Sita. <laughs> Oh, man. That picture spooks me every time. So you take a picture of your paper garden of Ant-Man monster and glue it onto a paper cup. Then you take another paper cup and put it on the table. Put your monster cup over top of that one. Press down and then boom! The cup with the picture on it should shoot up into the sky. Just like you're flying a kite. Except instead of seeing a pretty kite fly up in the sky, with this game you'll see an evil monster that is trying to land on top of your head and make you go bye-bye. It's Gamma Doggy and Damma Doggy! Made out of paper! Whoa! And like, look at all the stuff coming out of Kamatagi's mouth! <laughs> Kamatagi's tongue just came out! Just like a frog! <laughs> They're slimy! All right, all right, all right, Kamatagi! Put your tongue back in your mouth! You're not licking an ice cream! You would have your tongue wrapped around that thing like a tornado. We get it? You love ice cream. But now stop making me scream. Put the tongue away. <laughs> oh, oh, family. I think I made them mad. Jumbo Josh, what's up, dude? Uh, wait a second, Jumbo Josh. What are you looking at? And why are your eyeballs going super crazy? Do you have something to tell me? <gasps> oh, uh, wait a second. Family, why is Jumbo Josh putting his hands together like this? Is he asking for something? Oh, or maybe he's trying to catch something? Cause family, look! We just made our very own Jumbo Josh ball launcher game! You fling your ping pong balls up in the air and try to aim it at Jumbo Josh so he catches them. There's one ball. There's two. Let's see if he can catch a third. Oh, no! Fourth. Nuh uh. He caught the fifth. What about the sixth? No. Seven. Come on, Jumbo Josh. Woo! You are very mediocre at this game. Maybe if Jumbo Josh was a little bit more Jumbo, then he can have bigger hands to catch the balls with. It's okay, Jumbo Josh. Maybe just don't try and play baseball. That would be wildly disappointing. Here is a pretty picture of the Garden of Ban Ban characters. Oh! Oh! Why are they doing that? Family, the picture came apart. Now the picture is broken. But wait a second, family. If the picture is broken, then that means we can put it back together again. Just like a puzzle. Oh, family, and the best part about this puzzle is that you can make it by yourself at home. All you have to do is print out any picture of the Garden of Band Band characters that you want. Then cut the picture up into different pieces. Shake all the pieces around. And then 
then try and see if you can put the picture back together again with all the different shapes. Oh, look at this person. They're trying to put back together the picture. And they're actually doing really well. Come on, Mr. Picture Maker, sir. You can do it. Me and Baby Nuggie believe in you. Actually, Baby Nuggie is snoring right now. But I still believe in you. Family, comment down below. I love paper. That's the secret word of today's video. And me and Baby Nuggie will heart your comments. Wow, look. It's a giant maze. Oh, Stinger Flynn! Oh, wow, well, uh, now we are very giantly zoomed in to Stinger Flynn's one eyeball. All right, Stinger Flynn, I know I was excited to see the maze. But now that one eyeball is kind of looking at me cray. And I'm super spooked out. But I'm not spooked out to play this game. Because look, family, for this game, you just gotta tape cardboard walls to your favorite picture of Stinger Flynn. And then grab a marble, place it on top, and go, go, go! Oh, look, there's the marble. It's going so fast. Go, marble, go. Can we get it to the end? Yes, we did it. And then you can play this game with any amount of marbles you want or any color of marbles you want because this person took a green marble, then a blue. Oh, and now look what he's doing too. He's doing both marbles at the same time. And I think they're going even faster. Hey, Oplifert. <laughs> Okay, I guess somebody has a lot to say. Family, this is a picture of Opla Bird taped onto a clothes hanger. So when you squish the clothes hanger open and close, it open and closes Opla Bird's mouth. It sounds like a good idea at first. But then a couple times after you hear Opla Bird talk, you really start to question it. Opla Bird! I am trying to sleep. See? Definitely sleeping. Look at this really cool picture of Zolfius stuck in a bottle. But family, not only is this a cool picture, because look, watch what happens when we pull Zolfius out of this secret folder. Whoa! Zolfius went from black and white to blue in color. It's like magic. And then when we put the picture of Zolfius back into the folder, the color magically goes away. All right, seriously, Zolfius, how are you doing this, bro? Because I feel like I was just born like two hours ago. And this is making me very confused. Hey, Dumbo Dodge, you came back. But wait, what was that? <laughs> You wanna what? You wanna dance? <laughs> okay. Nope, the down oh, man family. Oh, Josh is dancing better than me. Seriously, look how quick this dude can go. How is he magically flying up in the air? He's lifting both of his arms and his legs at the same time. Whoa. Family, this toy is made by printing off a picture of Jumbo Josh. And then you gotta cut his arms and legs off separately and then reattach them with these special clips that are all attached to one string. Pull the magic Jumbo Josh string and boom, boom, boom. The arms and legs start flopping up and down like he is a baby bird trying to learn how to fly. Yeah, sorry, Jumbo Josh. I don't think it's gonna work out for you, bro. Birds fly because they have light, fluffy wings. And you have giant hammer hands that will just sink, sink, sink. It ain't gonna work, bro. But A plus for trying. Oh, no, family, look. It's Kitty Saurus behind bars. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, wait a second. Did I say Kitty Saurus? I meant Opal of Bird. Uh, wait, no, I didn't. I, I meant Kitty Saurus. Oh, uh, no, 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 I meant Opal of Bird. Uh, Kitty Saurus, Opal of Bird, Kitty Saurus. Ow! What is going on? This toy magically changes from Opal of Bird to Kitty Saurus all by moving the behind magic paper back and forth. If you want to know how this toy works, ask your mommy and daddy. Because my parents still won't tell me. And say, because it's made of magic, that only Santa will tell me at Christmas. Oh, man, I can't wait till then. Hopefully your parents will tell you sooner. Family, next up, we're learning how to make some super fun skippity toilet toys. And these toys are also made out of paper, too. Wow, look. It's a paper skippity toilet. And this is how 
you make him. First, you have to make one tiny toilet out of paper first. And then you gotta make one Skippity Toilet head made out of paper too. But it is very important to make sure Skippity Toilet has a super long neck. Kind of the same length as a pasta noodle. <laughs> but definitely not as tasty as one. Because family, please do not eat paper. All right, after you have both your paper pieces, all you gotta do is stick the Skippity Toilet head and neck inside the paper toilet. And then you grab your long pasta noodle, which is also Skippity Toilet's neck, and lift it up and down. This will make Skippity Toilet's head bob in and out of the toilet. So if you want everybody to see him, lift it up. And if you want Skippity Toilet to hide away, pull Skippity's neck down. Here we have the same paper toilet, except this one flushes Skippity Toilet down the toilet. Watch this. Instead, it actually makes G-Man burp and shoot laser beams from his eyes. What the chicken nuggets? I didn't know paper could do that. This is crazy. Oh. Okay, G-Man. Oh, stop burping. We get it. We get it. You are mad that you are now made into paper form. And look at this, family. This is a Skippity Toilet toy found inside of a candy bag. Oh, we're opening the candy bag. What's gonna be inside? Candy? Wait a second. That's Cameraman. And Speaker Man. Whoa, and TV Man too. Family, look at TV Man's arms and legs. They kind of look like a skeleton. <laughs> and he's shaking his bones like one too. Oh, I think somebody danced a little bit too hard. Save TV Man! And family, since you made it to the very end of today's video, I'm about to show you these secret boxes! Look at this! We have a Jumbo Josh, So Celine, Kamataki, and Tamataki. <gasps> Whoa! And Bitter Giggle Kitty Saurus Bambolina Ban Ban Opala Bird Box! This is so crazy! And now I'm about to show you what each of the different sides of the box does. This paper box of Kamataki and Tamataki is very slimy because they stick out their paper tongues and try and eat player! Oh, don't do it, player! Don't try to grab those key cards! Kamataki and Tamataki are gonna eat you! They think you are a giant cone of vanilla ice cream from McDonald's! And they have been wanting a Sunday all day. Run, player, run! Next box, we have the Bitter Giggle and Kitty Saurus box. This is a super crazy box filled with so many monsters. And player is trying to get through the box by collecting the coins without getting caught from Opala Bird. Oh, oh, oh no. And then if he doesn't get caught from Opala Bird, he will get caught from somebody else. Come on, player! Do you know these monsters are crazy? The next side of the box is the Jumbo Josh side. <gasps> and this is where you, family, yourself, try and catch Jumbo Josh in a giant wooden cage. Oh, hey, Jumbo Josh, look over here. I have something really important to show you. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Maybe you should have been looking up to the sky. Because while you were looking at me, we caught you. And family, the last side of this secret paper box is the slow saline side. And you have to jump over all of the different buttons without falling to the ground. Jump, player, jump! Keep jumping! Before Slow Celine's weird eyeballs come out and grab you! Oh, family, he's jumping! Jump, jump, jump! Keep going, player! Woohoo! You made it! Good job! Family, all of the toys we're making today is out of tape! And all of these toys you can make yourself at home! And the first set of toys we're making today is Garden of Man! Why'd they just use a hairdryer? Oh, a chicken nugget! Family, did you see that? They just made a giant bubble out of tape! Yeah! And now they're drying on the face! 
Apparently, this set of toys is all of the Garden of Bad Band characters. And we have to guess which one they are. Oh, 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 I know which character this is. He is green and mean. AKA Jumbo Josh. Wow. <laughs> Billy, can you believe that we made this giant balloon out of tape? Oh, oh no. parties where my brother goes pop 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 to all of my balloons he is always super jealous of my birthday probably because for my birthday i get a big giant cake and my brother gets a big giant piece of coal sorry bro maybe you shouldn't have been so naughty oh wait i think that's for santa all right family next character we're making can you guess who this is Whoa, look, we just made another giant bubble by blowing air into this weird looking tape. Okay, now we're coloring the tape blue, but um, wait a second, family. Which Garden Band Band character is the color blue? <laughs> and that looks like a giant pig nose. Oh, look, there's his feet and his arms. Chop, chop, chop. Color in the eyeballs. Wait a second, family. I know which character this is. It's Coach Pickle. And now our favorite part of the video. Time to squish him! Whoa! Billy, he's so squishy! Oh man, this video is gonna be so fun! Oh my chicken nugget! We just made the biggest squishy ball we've ever made before! And Billy, this time the character is pink! And I am pretty sure I know which Garden Band Man character is pink! She's pink! She's a little bit yellow. She has a little bit of wings. And her name is... A bird. <laughs> Look how long her beak is. All right, family, we have already collected two of the Garden Band Men characters. And now it's time to make more. Whoa! That is like a big giant bubble coming from a big bubble bath. I love bubble baths because the bubbles go everywhere and then you get to pop them. But I don't know if Baby Dougie would know about those because something tells me he doesn't know too much about soap. Ain't that right, Baby Dougie? What? Exactly. Baby Dougie available at Travelexia.com. All right, which kind of band band character looks like a giant bubble bath bubble? Or maybe a smoke bubble, too, that comes from a barbecue? <laughs> Whoa, they have giant eyeballs. A big pink bow. Hello, I know who it is. I know. It's Oh, man, Baby Dougie, I was going to say that. But yeah, 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 I guess you're right. Another Garden Man Man character collected! And family, we're not only looking at Garden Man Man characters today, we're also gonna be seeing Grimace and the Grimace Shake, Wednesday Adams, and even the Skippity Toilet characters too! All right, here's the tape. We're coloring it blue. <gasps> Whoa! It's ginormous! This is the biggest squishy toy bubble thing I've ever seen! Okay, we're drawing the arms now. The party hat! Add on the bubble. Oh, family, why does this look like a spider? Oh, wait a second! Maybe because it is one! This family, look what we just drew! It's Nab Nab! Or should I say Squab Squab? Because <laughs> we love to squish him! Let's see what happens if we make this balloon huge! Is it gonna pop? Will it be squishy? Will it be cool? Will it be so big that it's gonna pop? Okay, this one's red. Oh, we're making it big. Wow, this one's extra squishy! And it has two party hats on top. Two big eyeballs, family. I know who this is. This is Batman! The two devil horns. And now let's try and pop them. Is it gonna pop? Oh no, family, I can't watch! Oh, wait, what? Ban Ban didn't pop? Family, all the other nice characters pop, but now evil Ban Ban doesn't? That's not fair! We got scammed. But at least now we still have another toy to play with. Okay, we got our tape. We know what we do with this tape! Oh, I think this squishy. 
squishy bubble toy is the biggest one we've had so far. And now we're making a specific shape. Huh? Another pig nose? Is this Coach Pickles again? Because we already made him and uh, newsflash, Mr. Toy Maker, sir. Coach Pickles isn't pink. Hey, what's that on top of their head? Arms, legs, very big mouth, pig-like nose, pink in color. Family, I know who this is. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. It's Jeff Bigster. Now let's see if he pops. And is he gonna pop yes or no? Comment down below. He survived. Whoa, family, but we're gonna make this one a little different than the rest. Watch this. Ooh, we're putting color inside the tape. And all of this water? And we, we didn't just make a squishy ball for this one. We made a squishy water balloon. Oh, man. And I know which character this is. It's Zolpheus. Wow. Just like that, we found all of the Garden Man Man characters. And next up, we have something else that's made of a little bit of liquid. And family, I'm going to let you guys figure out what that is. Okay, so we got some purple goo and some white uh, marshmallow looking thing. Whoa, that looks like candy! With some red and white straw or candy. Uh, <gasps> are those sprinkles? Wait a second, why does that look like the Grimace shake? No, <laughs> we can't be making the Grimace shake out of this, can we? Oh, hey, Grimace! I think we did! Oh, family, that was crazy. I was not expecting to make Grimace today. Next up, family, we're making someone, and I'll give you a hint. This is a girl from a very popular TV show. She has black hair and black braids, and she might be a little bit evil with a sprinkle of good. Oh, do you know who this is? Her name rhymes with Ben's Day. Look, family, look. We made Wednesday. <laughs> and her head is awfully squishy today. But if you see Wednesday on the streets, I do not recommend you squishing her face. Wednesday Adams or Wednesday Bouncy Ball? I'm not too sure which one. Next up, we are making a... 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 Wait a second, baby Nuggie. Seriously, what, what are we making right now? Because all I see is something with a lot of goopy white stuff inside and possibly a hole. Um, what is this? Family, what is this? If you know what this is, comment down below because... Oh, no! Family, oh, no, 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 no! We're making a toilet! And not just any toilet. Oh, no, no, no. We are making a toilet with a head inside. Because we are making skippity toilets. Oh, he looks so creepy. Oh, and extra squishy. Family, if you made these toys at home, would you squish them with your hands too? Or would you poke them with your fingers? Or would you chop, chop, chop them with your elbows? Because honestly, you could try each one and see which one pops the toy first. Okay, next up, we're making another Skippity Toilet character. All right, who do we got here? Oh, that looks like a bunch of speakers. So wait a minute, are we making Speaker Man? Wait, but that's more than one speaker. That's like one, two, three, five million speakers. So family, I don't think we're making Speaker Man. I think we just made... Whoa! Titan Squiggly Speaker Man! Because look at the way he wiggles. <laughs> he is extra bendy. And also now apparently got at dancing. Go, Speaker Man. Go, Speaker Man. And now it's time to go for some Exploradorin and find some more. Uh, wait a second. We didn't just find a new Skippity Toilet character. We just found some Jello. Oh, man. And now we're coloring on top of our Jello. Oh, my mom's going to get so mad. She always tells me not to play with my food. Uh, that doesn't look like Jello anymore. Kind of looks like a TV. And since we're trying to find Skippity Toilet characters, I'm starting to think, family, that this might be TV Man. Oh, whoa, 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 baby nuggie. We are not watching Netflix tonight on this TV. I think we're going to be watching something much spookier and something that we probably should not go close to because we're making TV Man. Whoa, okay, look, this is TV Man's outfit. It's super dark, black all around. <gasps> that was TV Man 
but he had some speakers on his shoulder. What? And now we're adding even more controls <gasps> and cameras to his chest. Whoa, family, this is looking so cool. Okay, I don't think this is regular TV, man. No way that's true. <gasps> family, we are making somebody bigger, somebody more powerful, somebody much spookier than regular TV, man. We have Titan TV, man. Whoa, family, time to press all of his buttons. Turn on that TV, because he is extra squishy. Whoa. This is crazy! I think this is so cool! But, uh, Titan TV man, I think his face says he does not agree. All right, family, we have one Skippity Toilet character left, and this one is gonna be the craziest one of all. And then after we find out what character this is, we get to see our secret character of today's video! Okay, so we got some gray stuff that kind of looks like cement and kind of looks like the oatmeal that my mommy gives me for breakfast. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Now we have a big uh, egg. Is that a chicken egg? Uh, an Easter egg? Uh, oh, 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 what are they doing with the egg? Why are they coloring on it? <gasps> Oh, Philly, that's not a chicken egg. That is the head of a skippity toilet character. <gasps> and he is like the most evil one. Oh, I see his head. I see his eyeballs. Philly, you might think that this looks like skippity toilet right now, but that is not him. This is somebody much more evil than skippity toilet. This is somebody much more mean. The last skippity toilet character that we are making right now has a toilet, has speakers, has a TV on him. Family, his name is... G-Man! Oh, no! Look at him! Oh, he looks like a giant robot! And he's not squishy like one, too! Because robots are not squishy, and he is very, very squishy. See? All right, family, since you made it to the very end of today's video, it is time to reveal the secret toy character of today's video. And this is a secret character that you can make yourself at home, too, if you have tape. Are you ready to see who it is? <gasps> okay, here's how you do it. You shape something that looks like the letter F. Uh, you put some black Play-Doh in there, and uh, you put some more tape over top. Family, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that we were making alphabet. Lord letter F. <laughs> oh, his face looks like the same as F. Oh, so do his eyeballs. Oh, no, family, no. We just made the evil alphabet Lord letter F as a squishy toy. But wait a second. What's going on? What's happening to alphabet Lord letter F? Oh, he's not a toy anymore. Alphabet Lord letter F transformed from a toy to real life. Ah! Is that Kane as a squishy bubble toy? Family, that looked so cool. And now we're about to learn how to make this toy ourselves. Oh, we got some teeth. Uh, I think these are the eyeballs. Oh, they're so squishy. Add them into the teeth. Add a top hat on top. Whoa! We made Kane as a squishy toy. And he sounds like a dog chew toy. But evil. All right, next up we have Gangle. And family, we have so many more amazing digital circus characters to show you today. We have Pomni, we have Jax, we even have Zobal too. And look at this, it's Gangle. And he's not made out of a bubble. He is made into a slinky. Cause that dude is going back and forth like an accordion. You ever play that instrument, family? Mm, didn't think so. Cause mostly for old people. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Next up, we are making... Oh, a giant bubble? Family, I know who this is. We are making bubble. And look, we drew on his face. And now we get to squish him. <laughs> Family, I thought bubble is supposed to be a toy, not a chef. So why did we add a chef hat on top of his head? Bubble, we all know you can't cook. And if you did, the only thing you would know how to cook is carbonated soda. There is a lot of bubbles in there. What do we got next? It's red. It's blue. Kind of looks like a baby. Oh, I saw the hat. I know who it is. Wait a second. Why did we put her on a baby doll body? Because now her body looks normal, but her head looks squishy. Oh, uh, wait a second, family. Why did we switch to the next one without squishing Pomni's head? Oh. 
Wait a second. This is baby Pomni as a squishy toy. But look at this. Next up, we're learning how to make regular Pomni, but a giant squishy toy. Okay, so we got Pomni saying bad words and being angry like normal. Okay, so we had the face, and now we're drawing Pomni's hat. Oh, okay, so chop, chop, chop. We did the face. Cut, cut, cut. We did the hair. Uh-oh, and here comes the bubble part. Family, to make this nano bubbles, what you gotta do is get a specific type of tape and then either fill it with something like water or in this case, squishiness. I'm not exactly sure what kind of squishiness they put inside that tape, but I am kind of suspicious that it's a bunch of melted marshmallows. What are things inside there, family? Comment down below. And now we're adding on the eyeballs and the hat and the hair. Whoa, did you hear that, family? We finished and now it's so squishy. So maybe because it's so squishy that my mom won't get mad at me when I accidentally throw it at my brother. <laughs> Ooh, just kidding, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Now, sorry, Pomni, get out of here. It is now time for our next character that we're building, Jax. Whoa, okay, this nano bubble, we are filling with some purple Play-Doh. So you get your tape and then you fill whatever you want inside. In this case, we're doing the purple Play-Doh as the face. That's the circle shape. And the purple Play-Doh as the ears. Those are the other two shapes. Then you draw on the faces on the tape. Whoa, and now you have a Pomni. Pomni and Jack's squishy toy that you made yourself. What do we have next? Red-haired spaghetti noodle girl, who are you? <gasps> Just kidding, family. I know exactly who this is. That is not Red Vine. That is not Twizzlers. This is our button-eyed girl, Ragatha, aka my favorite amazing digital circus character. She is so nice and cute. Okay, so we just made the head, which is the squishy part with Ragatha's face on it. Then we put the button eye, her regular eye, her face, and all of her red hair. And wait, what did they make that red hair with? Red pieces of macaroni? How did they get red like that? And now, hey family, let's hear the squish. Okay, that was not a squish. That was a stretch. And also a boing, boinging Jax out of the way. Goodbye, Jax. It's my turn now. <gasps> Kinger, that's you. And you look very hard to make. So somebody please tell me how to do this. Okay, we need multiple pieces and they're multiple shapes. Whoa, do you see that family? We are twisting and rolling the tape to make even more shapes. Okay, we got one stringy, two stringies. Um, I know I was joking about Ragatha's hair being made out of pasta noodles, but Kinger's is actually the same color as pasta. So I am starting to get suspicious. Now, we're coloring a full sheet of tape purple and not even adding anything inside. All we're doing is wrapping it around Kinger's body. Add on some mini itty bitty tiny bubbles as his eyeballs. Put everything together and boom! You have an amazing digital circus SSS toy. Squishy, scared, and screaming! Because the dude is always so scared that he's screaming. Come on, bro. What about the fourth S? You ever try smiling? Because you know that's an option too. Family, comment down below digital pizza as the secret word of today's video. And me and Baby Nuggie will heart your comment. Oh my chicken nugget. This is the coolest amazing digital circus nano bubble toy that we've seen so far. And definitely the hardest one too. Did you hear that? Oh, we have so many different pieces that we have to make for Zubal. And look, we are currently making her arms and legs. <laughs> Zubal, why does your body look like a giant piece of Swiss cheese? Because I know you just look like one and you're not actually made of cheese. But let's hope you don't actually smell like one too. That's stinky. Okay, add on the arms, the legs, the crab claw hand, and Zubal's very silly shaped head and whiskers. Or those TV antenna heads. I'm not really sure. And then, ta-da! We have a squishy Zimble that instead of squishing her body, we are squishing her eyeballs. Who are we making next? What is this? Whoa, we just added a whole bunch of water inside of this bubble. Ah, look who we're making. It's bubble. Okay, this is so satisfying. Do you hear what it sounds like? This is definitely one of my favorite toys we've made. Oh, do you hear it? No, 
cocaine. Don't do it, Bubble. I know we made you as a toy. That doesn't mean you can go that far. Okay, then maybe that means we need to like revise the version of Kane. The first toy we made might have been too evil and maybe a little bit too hungry. But now if we make a new version of Bubble Kane, then hopefully it won't be so bad. Oh, his eyeballs look so much bigger now. And his teeth look so much wider. Uh-oh, family. I think we were trying to make a nicer cane, but I think we actually just made a bigger cane that has bigger teeth, bigger eyeballs, bigger everything, and now can literally fit his mouth over anything he wants. And that includes your head. You know what I mean? <gasps> Whoa. Do not look into the hypnotizing cane eyeballs. You will be hypnotized. Oh, I think it's happening to me right now. What do we have here? Something that looks like a C shape. Do we think it's C from the alphabet lore? Ooh. Oh, that's not C. That's the moon. Aw, and Kane is hanging with them. Two best friends sitting on the moon. S-P-A-C-E-E-E. -E -E. Spacey. And now, family, look at this. These are all of the toys we just made. Gango. Wow, he's so cool. Ragatha. She's so stretchy. Jax. His ears are so high. And Bomney. Her face is super squishy. Wow. Which one of these characters was your favorite? Comment down below. Now, family, we are not stopping at squishy toys today because look at this. We're about to show you how to make a squishy version of Pomni, but that's not the only thing about her because look, she's not the regular version of Pomni. She is the Roblox version of Pomni because <laughs> her body be very boxy. Don't worry, family. She's still flexible, so she will still crush it in gym class. Wait, Pomni, why are you sad? Ah! Ah! and popping things. Uh, family, I think we have little situation. I think Bubble Pomni took it a little too far. And now she has a couple bubbles on her behind. Cause family, look! Pomni is filled with pimples. Uh-oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're not popping them, are we? Ah! We popped Pomni's pimples. And now she is squeaky clean. Ah! Family, the Amazing Digital Circus is not the only people that we want to make out of toys. Because look at this. I think y'all are going to recognize who this character is because they may or may not have just released a game today called Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Because look at this. He's a teddy bear. He's your friend. His name is Freddy Fazbear. Wow, bro. I thought you're supposed to be scary and stuff. Not Squishy, but nice try. All right, next up, we have another character from the Five Nights at Freddy's brand new video game. And I want you all to guess which character this might be. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little hint. This character is the color yellow. They are a girl. And they may or may not be made of a chicken. <laughs> Family, do you have any guesses? This chicken likes to eat things like pizza and sometimes garbage. Whoa! And their name is Chica. Hey, Chica. Do you like your new glow up transformation? And family, we couldn't just make Chica out of a bubble toy and not make Chica's best friend too. So family, do you know what we're making right now? I bet you do. This is another food item. And this thing is a little bit more delicious than a chicken. <laughs> this thing has pink icing on it. And it is something that you might eat on your birthday. And it is Chica's birthday cupcake. Ooh. Next up on our Five Nights at Freddy's Squishy Toy Game is... They're purple. I know a character that's purple, but I don't want to guess too soon, just in case I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure, family, this is a purple bunny character. And I'm pretty sure y'all know who I'm talking about when I say that. It's Bonnie the Bunny! Woo! He looks so handsome and very squishy. And Whoa, bro. Why are you staring at me like that? Go squish somewhere else. Next bubble tape we are making. Our bubble toy. Bubble nano toy. Squishy toy. Whatever you want to call it. And family, remember, right after this, we're about to play the craziest Amazing Digital Circus guessing game out of pizza. Oh, okay. So we have a red character. Dude, this is 
Daisy. A red fox is a pirate too? This is definitely Foxy. Duh. Foxy or stretchy? Because why does his ears look like that? Pibbly, are you going to make any of these squishy tape toys at home? Let me know in the comments. Next up, we're playing Can You Guess the Amazing Digital Circus Pizza? All right, family, look at this giant pizza. Which Amazing Digital Circus character do you think it is? And let's see. Whoa! It's Pomni! We made a giant Pomni pizza! <laughs> that looks delicious. All right, all right, family. This is only going to get harder and harder. Oh, so look at this pizza now. Wait a second. Which digital circus character is this? Oh, my chicken nugget. Are you kidding me? This pizza was supposed to be Jax? What? That doesn't even look like him. Family, we got scammed. Ooh, okay, okay. What about this one? Uh, <laughs> what is going on with this pizza? And why is it so many different colors? Half of the cheese on the pizza is burned. Half of it doesn't look cooked at all. I am very suspicious over whoever made this, but I do see something at the bottom of the pizza that kind of makes me think that it's Kane. Let's see if we're right. Whoa, it is Kane. We made Kane out of pizza. Can you see that thing on the bottom, family? That is Kane's white glove. And that is how I guessed Kane. Ooh, okay, wait a second. Look at this pizza. Okay, this is actually getting really hard. Uh, I have no idea what Digital Circus character this would be. Like, the bottom looks like two arms, but I'm not very sure. All right, family, let's see who this pizza is. What? It's Ragatha? Bro, that was really difficult. What the chicken nugget? What is this? Okay, we got some more burnt slash uncooked pizza here. Um, not really sure who this could be. It's a very odd shape. Uh, family, I'm gonna need your help with this one. Comment down below who you think this is because I am struggling. Oh, uh oh, it's already time to reveal the answer. Who do we think it is? Oh, it was Kofmo, but the non-abstracted version. Kofmo, I didn't know you liked pizza, bro. You should have just told me. Cause maybe if you were happy eating pizza, you would have never turned evil at all. Good food do be doing that to people. All right, next. <laughs> What is this pizza? This is an abomination. This is crazy and should be a crime. I don't know who did what to this pizza or who made it, but they should go in jail because this is not pizza. All right, family, let's just see who they're trying to make. Oh, uh, it's Gangle. And wait a second, family, I see it now. Do you see this big blob of white cheese right in the middle of the pizza? That is supposed to be half of Gangle's mask. Okay, that actually looks exactly like him. Fine, Mr. Pizza Man, sir. You get a pass this time. And family, this is the very last pizza that we have to guess. Oh, oh my chicken nugget! This looks like somebody ate the whole pizza and then just spat it back out. It practically looks like baby food. Okay, this is the hardest pizza that we have to guess today. If you can guess this right, you are the smartest person ever. And family, I'm gonna give you a hint. This character is somebody that we've already seen today in pizza form. And there is something in this pizza that if you can see it, it gives you a very big hint on who it is. I'll give you a couple more seconds, family, and then we are completely done. And if you wanna lock in your answer right now, comment it down below to make sure you win. All right, family, are you ready? A couple more seconds. Who is this Digital Circus character? It is. All right, family, today we are transforming all the smiling critters into squishy DIY toys. And wait a sec, who are we starting off with today? A blue smiling critter. This must be Bubba. Bubba Bubba Finn, the elephant. Family, all of these toys we're making today is gonna be made out of tape. So that means you can make all of these squishy toys at home yourself. Okay, watch this. I'm about to show you some magic. We have a piece of special tape right here. We're folding it in half and now we're blowing some air inside. Whoa! Oh, the tape just turned into a squishy ball. And family, since we colored in the blue color on the inside, now all we gotta do is squish it all around and our whole bubble is blue. But now comes the super fun part of making the smiling critters. And we are making Mr. Elephant. Bubba Bubba Fint. Color, color, color in his mouth. Whoa, Bubba. 
Why your mouth so big? I mean, I know you're an elephant and probably need to eat a lot of food, but dang, bro. Save some food for somebody else. I wonder all the other smiling critters are so tiny. You stole all their food. Ooh, what is this? More blue tape. We are wrapping it around some tiny blue wire. <gasps> Oh, wait a sec, I think I know what this is. I think we're making this really long piece to make Bubba Bubba Finn's nose. Cause remember family, elephants have super long wide noses. So that's what we gotta make for the smiling critter. All right, our nose is complete. We're molding it and shaping it just like an elephant. <gasps> Tape it onto our bubble. Whoa! And now all we gotta do is add the eyeballs and the giant ears. Okay, for the ears, we have to color in whatever we want the shape to be, just like this. No, that is not a butterfly. Chopped in half. Those are two jumbo elephant ears. Okay, chop, chop, chop. We have our shape. And now we have to cut even more and add it right to Bubba Bubba Fin. And he is complete. Now, family, the most important part of this video is the squish test. The squish test allows us to see if our toys pass the test or fail. Is it a good squishy toy? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Whoa! That sounded so good. Bubba Bubba Fin, you have passed. But wait a sec, what is this? A cute little bunny and... Uh, I think they're trying to tell us something, family. Because that cute little animal was wearing a catnap costume. So I think that's who we're trying to make right now. See, here is a regular squishy toy with catnap's picture drawn on top. Let's try the squish test. Whoa, that sounds so cool. But family, that was just the example catnap toy. Because we're about to make a brand new catnap squishy toy ourselves. <gasps> okay, so you grab the tape just like we did for Bubba. And we're adding some purple paint in the middle. Squish, squish, squish. Spread, spread, spread. Add in the little straw thing that will allow us to add air in it afterwards. And now when we fold our tape, it will be ready to add the air inside. Oh, are you ready, family? Whoa! We just made a giant purple bubble from our nano tape. This ball is gonna act as Catnap's head for when we finish our toy. Ooh, what is this? Another piece of nano tape. Okay, we're adding more purple on top. And now a sparkly purple too. <gasps> Do we think this is for his eyeballs? Or maybe his cat ears? Oh yeah, they're the shape of a triangle. And triangles are the shape of cat ears. So that's gotta be what this is. Chop, chop, chop our ears off of the tape. Ow, that sounded like it hurt. And now it's the fun part to draw on Catnap's face and his big Catnap mouth. Oh, family, I don't know if I want to draw Catnap's mouth on because y'all already know what comes out of that thing. Red evil gas. Usually it comes out of the other end of people, but for Catnap, it's his mouth. That's unfortunate. Okay, color in the mouth. Add on the eyeballs. Oh, they're like two squishy balls. And now remember the ears that we made before? We gotta attach those on too. Whoa, and family, look! We made our own DIY squishy Catnap. Time for the squish test. It sounded evil, haunted, and I love it. Next nano tape art is a red smiling critters character. Family, can you guess who this is? Oh, no, that is not the red balloon from the scary movie It. You know, the balloon Pennywise holds. This is for a smiling critter character who also happens to be the color red. And it's for Bobby Barug. Okay, we already made his face. Now I think we're making his uh, bear ears. Aw, you know the cute little tiny circle ones that go on his head? Bobby Bear Hug, why are you so cute? <gasps> Girl, I love you. Partially because you remind me of a tomato that I like to throw at my brother's face, but also I guess because you're cute. I like teddy bears. And I also like plushy chicken nuggies, like baby nuggy, saucy, and tippy, available at shoplexio.com. If you want to join the family, grab one of the plushies. Okay, we're almost done Bobby Bear Hug as our DIY squishy toy. We're drawing on the eyeballs. And now she's complete. But wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. We gotta do the squish test. Three, two, one. Oh, that sounded epic. 
All right, family, next smiling critter we have is a green smiling critter. Do you know who it is? I will give you a hint. We will draw them on this squishy ball right here. It's Hoppy Hopscotch. Whoa. And she's even friends with Catnap. All right, family, that was our example toy. But now it's time for us to actually make the toys ourselves. Whoa, did you hear the balloon get filled in? This is the base of Hoppy Hopscotch's head. It's green. She's definitely not mean. Well, sometimes she's kind of sassy. But it's Hoppy Hopscotch. Wait, look at this. Are those sparkly gem things? What's going on over here? Wait, what is... Oh, the sparkles are for Hoppy Hopscotch's ears. Ooh, those be fancy though. Okay, so we made the long ear shape and now we're coloring them in green and the base of them is sparkles? Stanley, since when did Hobby Hobbs got to get rich? Those ears be worth at least $10,000 each. Aw, add a heart for their nose because Hoppy is so sweet. Add on her very expensive and overpriced ears and our Hobby Hobbs got DIY toy is complete. And now it's time for the... No, family, not taste test. Can't eat a plastic balloon. Family, I meant squish test. Remember the thing we've been talking about all video? Come on, bro. All right, three, two, one, squish test. Whoa, I think that one was my favorite squish so far. Hello, yellow smiling critter. Just like our yellow baby nuggy. But family, this smiling critter is not a chicken nuggy, but they are a chicken. Because this next smiling critter is kicking chicken. All right, I don't know what this small little long piece is for, for kicking chicken, but maybe it's their arm or leg. Ooh, we're attaching it to the front of the yellow squishy part. Oh, wait a sec. I know what that is. That's kicking chicken's hair. Okay, now we're drawing on the mouth and the nose and the two eyeballs. And our kicking chicken transformation is complete. And now it's time for the squish test. Uh, okay, I liked all the other squishes, but this one is kind of creeping me out. It made a very weird noise. And did you notice every time we squished them, their teeth were coming apart? See, regular teeth, squish teeth, regular teeth, squish teeth. Kicking chicken, I know you're a chicken and all, and all you eat is seeds all day. But maybe you should tone it down and start eating some jello instead. So I think your teeth got cracked like some broken glass. And you should definitely not eat glass. Hello, Piggy Piggy. I already know it's you. You are a cute pink ball. Ooh, and now we're adding on your ears. Piggy Piggy is a pig. Remember that, family? So since she's a pig, she needs some really cute ears on top. Or pop, pop, pop those things on, but don't pop it too much. Because then our squishy toy will break. And Piggy Piggy's head will explode. Oink, oink, oink. Add on her nose. Her very big mouth. Mouth, very big eyeballs. <gasps> and now it's time for the squish test. Let's go. Whoa! That one gave me shivers. It sounded so cool. Family, our next smiling critters is one of my favorites. They're blue. They're also white. They're also rainbow. It's Crafty Corn. Look, that's a picture of Crafty Corn on a very squishy DIY ball. But now we have to make our own DIY Crafty Corn. <gasps> and she's going to look like this. Okay, you start off with one giant ball that's white on the inside. But now for Crafty Corn's hair, we have to start making it blue. So now we have a second piece of tape that's all blue all over. Okay, wait a sec. Now we have a white piece too. Oh man, family, there are so many different pieces. I'm getting confused. <gasps> Oh, but I think this is for Crafty Corn's ears. Or maybe her nose? Okay, we draw on the mouth. Oh, that was Crafty Corn's hair. <gasps> and the white pieces were her ears. Now draw on the eyeballs just like that. Oh, and since she's a unicorn and super special, we have to have this very long piece with some silver accents because unicorns gotta be sparkly. And that sparkle is specifically for Crafty Corn's horn. Ta-da! We made a DIY Crafty Corn squishy toy. And the squish test goes like this. Ooh, sounds magical. All right, family, look at this next one. We already started this squishy toy right now. They're orange with a little bit of yellow. Can you guess who it is? Well, it's the only smiling critter that we have not made today. And that smiling critter is 
dog day. You know, the dog smiling critter. Okay, so we made their head and now we have to make the big floppy dog ears. Draw on the eyeballs and the mouth and nose too. Oh, look at their ears. They're folding over. Add on one. Add on the second one. Ooh. And dog day's already done. All right, family, this is the final squish test today. Are you ready? Wait, what? Family, that didn't go squish. It went woof, woof, woof. <gasps> Probably because dog day is a dog. And that's how dogs talk. Oh, woof, woof. To you too, dog day. That means bye. All right, family, now since we know how to make all the smiling critters out of DIY squishy toys, we decided that we are gonna find the smiling critters again, put in a game book. Oh, um, hey, Piggy Piggy. Looks like you are in a very messy room with a lot of dog fur inside. So girl, I know you don't really wanna do this, but I think it's time for you to clean. Scoop, scoop, scoop all the fur into the garbage bin. As long as you don't eat it, girl, everything will be okay. So y'all ready no, Piggy Piggy be hungry all the time. I wouldn't put that past her. Whoa, good job, Piggy Piggy. All the fur is gone. And now we gotta spray down the room with our little spray bottle to make sure everything is wiped down clean. Because another fun fact about Pig's family is sometimes for fun, they like to roll around in the dirt. And that is super dirty, not clean, and a lot of fun. Because <laughs> I used to do that too. All right, it looks like our room is complete. Goodbye, cleaning stuff. Hello? Party supplies! Cause family, it's somebody's birthday really, really soon. And we have to celebrate. Happy birthday! Woo! Good job, Piggy Piggy. The room is ready for a party. And now since our party room is done, the only thing left is to call up all of our friends to invite them to the party. Oh, family, which friends do you think are gonna come to our smiling critter birthday party? Hopefully all of them. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, dog day. Are you coming to my poppy playtime party? Um, yes, Piggy Piggy. I am definitely gonna come to this party because I love parties and I also love food. Cause we just found a banana, a pear, an apple, and even a pumpkin on my house. Uh, is that some honey? And even a half a lemon too? But family dog day is super duper nice and he knows that he cannot arrive to the party empty handed. So he is gonna do his best to make some super delicious food to bring over to Piggy Piggy's party. Ooh, okay, so we gotta cook the food in the oven for 12 minutes, but first we gotta get everything prepared. We got the bones. We got the flour. We got the utensils. And now it's time to pop it in the dog day oven, <laughs> which is actually a giant picture of dog day's face. Close the oven door, turn on the temperature, and now let everything cook. What did we make? Ah, a super burnt catnap. What the chicken nugget family? We didn't try and make a catnap. We just tried to make a cake. That is some wacky tacky oven. La da da, the next smiling critter invited to Picky Picky's party party is Hoppy Hopscotch. Oh, wait a second. One of these houses is Hoppy's house, but we just gotta figure out which one that is. We can't find Hoppy's house anywhere. Family, if we can't find Hoppy's house, then that means we can't invite her to the party. Whoa, but look, we pulled out the final carrots and we have found Hoppy Hopscotch's house made out of carrots. All right, Hoppy Hopscotch, are you coming to the party too? Cause I see you with that carrot cake in your hands. You are already prepared. Whoa, what about this one, family? Here we have a whole bunch of bees stuck in some honey. Uh, is that the bee house? Cause you cannot tell me a smiling critter lives in there. Oh, wait a sec. Of course someone does. Family, Bobby Bear Hug lives in that honey house because Bobby Bear Hug is a bear and bears love honey. So Bobby Bear Hug's gift for the birthday girl is a lot of chunks of honey that Bobby Bear Hug is gonna make into honey jelly. That sounds delicious. Pour in the first chunk of honey, then pour in even more. Thank you, Mr. Bumblebee, you are so helpful. And also about to make us super sticky. Why did no one tell me how sticky honey was? Ah! All right, family, we have all of our honey and we're mix mixing it up into this big ball of jelly. Tap, 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 stir, stir, stir. And then finally, our birthday gift is finally done. And we have put it in our jar and ready to go to the birthday party. And now, family, the day has finally arrived. Pick
Picky Piggy's birthday. And look, all of her friends showed up with gifts. And now comes the most important part. Does Picky Piggy like her gifts? Let's find out. We have Dog Day's Jelly Bones, Bobby Bear Hugs Honey, and Hobby Hopscotch's Carrot Cake. Whoa, they all look so good. And Piggy Piggy just blew out the candles. Okay, here's the first bone. Does Piggy Piggy like it? I think she did. Wow, slow down there, girl. You are eating super duper fast. You need to save room for the rest of the food. A Piggy Piggy says, don't tell me what to do. I am hungry, Alexia. And if I want to eat all of these gummy bones on my birthday, I will. Um, and that's exactly what she did. Next up, we have Hobby Hopscotch's carrot cake. Does Picky Picky like it? Whoa, look at that carrot cake. It's rainbow colors inside. And Picky Picky is eating the whole cake in like two bites. Whoa, I think she loves it. And now since she had so much cake, so much bones, Picky Picky gotta wash that stuff down with some super sticky honey. Oh, I can hear the stickiness. Whoa, that squeezed out so nice. It was so satisfying. Well, family, it looks like Picky Piggy loved all of her gifts that all of her friends bought her for the birthday. So that means her birthday was a success. But wait a second, family. Picky Piggy is all done the food. And now she's super, super sad. And she's crying. Oh, man, this is a disaster. Picky Piggy is still hungry on her birthday. But Hoppy Hopscotch says, don't worry, Piggy. I have a plan. And I will will fix everything to save your birthday. And look at this. Hoppy Hopscotch has a waffle cone, has this delicious muffin, a bunch of powdered sugar, a little bit of milk, mix, mix, mix to make another birthday cake. Ooh, and we're putting the icing in between the muffin and we're gonna stick it all together and hope that Piggy Piggy will eat it. So then Piggy Piggy won't be hungry anymore. Okay, we're adding that muffin into our waffle cone, squishing it all together adding some very questionable looking brown pebbles on top, adding a couple gummy carrots, a shovel to eat, and Piggy Piggy, we have our final carrot cake. Do you like it? Whoa, she does. How about the carrot? Whoa, she even likes that too. Family, look at this cake. There are so many layers. And Picky Picky is literally... What? She ate that whole giant cake in one bite. Picky Picky, you are crazy. Family, if you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to go get Baby Nuggy, Sassy Nuggy, and Tippy Nuggy at shopalexa.com. Me and Baby Nuggy love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.